Pet. Uh, good morning, everybody. It's Michael Shuckman with MicroStrategies, uh, who's our Director of Big Data and Analytics. Joining me today is Jay Peterson, one of our Technical Solution Architects. Uh, and thanks to our customers and to some of our prospects as well for spending some time with us this morning. Uh, Jay is going to walk us through a couple different topics. I'll just give a quick overview of the agenda. Uh, Jay will give you an overview of micro strategies, strategies and a deep dive on our big data and analytics practice. We'll then get to the meat of the conversation, which is our Pronto solution, followed by some links for some white papers and additional resources. Lastly, we'll cover all your questions, so please feel free to text them in the box, as you heard, and we'll address them all at the end of the uh, presentation. So with that, I'll introduce Jay Peterson. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate it. Um, and thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Um, so why don't we go ahead and get started? So first, I'll tell you a little bit about MicroStrategies. Uh, we've actually been in the technology business for just over 32 years now, established back in 1983. Uh, the company is privately owned and operated by the gentleman you can see in the photo on the right-hand side of the chart there. We operate two primary locations, one in Parsippany, New Jersey, and another in Malvern, Pennsylvania. Michael is actually up in Parsippany, and I'm down in Malvern today. Uh, at those two locations, we do operate uh, Connected Business Partner Innovation Center Labs, uh, and I will tell you more about those facilities in just a moment. The company is about 145 employees, uh, constantly growing uh, here and there. Uh, we have many certifications across all of the different vendor partners that we work with, uh, with one of our largest being IBM. Uh, and one of the things that is critically important to the owner of the company is customer satisfaction. It is something that he monitors very closely, and we're all very proud to uh, continue to be measured to have about a 95% customer satisfaction rating. Uh, we've received many awards both locally and, and across the industry, and you can see some of those there on the chart as well. <clears throat> so this chart is going to kind of give you a menu of all the different things that MicroStrategies offers its customers. And I'll start with the very beginning, which was uh, when the company was founded, the, the founder, Anthony Bongiovanni, his father, uh, was a lawyer, and he needed some technology help. So his son created a business to start helping out some of the law firms and practices that his father was familiar with and help them build out their back-end systems and start leveraging technology better. Uh, so MicroStrategy still to this day does business process management and document management systems and, and back-end system design for building custom applications and workflows uh, for its customers. <clears throat> now over time that business expanded to include the hardware and the data centers and the infrastructure uh, required to run those facilities and so we actually built a very considerable infrastructure solution business within MicroStrategies. Uh, so we cover everything from the, the servers, the storage, the networking, and the switches required, all the cabling. Uh, we have a couple of customers that we actually run the full management uh, of their data center environments. Now with that, we also expanded into more and more Microsoft solutions and document management solutions. So we work with the HP Autonomy and the Alfresco document management solutions and the Microsoft uh, Windows operating system and Office 365 based solutions. We've done work with Microsoft's Azure cloud facilities, uh, which also then helped us build out our cloud practice even further, helping some of our customers take their existing data center applications and moving those out to the cloud, determining what the most economic place to host an application may be, whether it's in a facility like Microsoft Azure or IBM SoftLayer, or hosting it on site. And then finally, the company has expanded its software offerings even further in recent years. And that includes our practice, the Big Data and Business Analytics practice, that I'll tell you a bit more about in a moment, uh, as well as the security and mobility area. And this has been a critical area for many customers over recent years, as I'm sure just about everyone has read in the paper. Um, and also managing mobile devices, as more and more of us are moving about, and we have these incredibly capable devices in our pocket, being able to manage that as part of the IT infrastructure. And then to sort of wrap it all up with a bow, uh, we've provided managed support services 24-7 for many of our customers. So all of these different solutions and pieces that we build, we can actually provide as a completely managed service to the customer. Um, so whether it's a, a custom specific application that we've helped you create, uh, or maybe it's just you want the responsibility for the help desk to be taken over, uh, and we can provide that 24-7 capability. 
Um, so as you can see, MicroStrategies offers a large range of, of solutions for our customers across many different areas of the technology landscape that might impact your business. Uh, the last thing I will highlight is Resource One, which you can see in the lower part of the chart there. Uh, we have a wholly owned subsidiary that does staffing solutions. Uh, so maybe your problem isn't a software or a hardware problem, it's a physical person problem, and you need a particular skill or you uh, need some assistance building something, we can help find that resource for you. And not only find a person who's qualified, but also ensure that they meet all of your needs. So we'll do that pre-screening work to make sure everything in that resume is correct and that person truly has the skill for the project you're looking for. So let's talk briefly about the innovation centers that I mentioned in the beginning. Uh, so we do operate two of these lab environments, uh, one in Parsippany and one in Malvern. And as you can see on this chart, they are packed with all of the different technologies that we work with. And this provides a really valuable resource for our customers because it means now they have an environment where they can test and work with new technologies without disrupting their day-to-day -day operations and staff. Um, so maybe you're thinking about trying out Hadoop. I'm sure we've all you know, read lots of great things about it, but we want our team to get their hands dirty. Uh, we have a Hadoop cluster set up in these environments so that you could connect in remotely or come into one of our innovation center lab environments where we have uh, a lovely environment set up with big whiteboards and act direct access to the servers and we can all sit together and talk through what you want to try and accomplish in Hadoop and then help your team actually go hands-on doing that right, and see it in, the, in our real environment. Uh, maybe you want to look at the security solutions. We've deployed the complete IBM security systems platform in these environments so that you can see QRadar and the way it monitors everything in your environment. Or you can look at the uh, IBM XGS appliances that we have deployed. Uh, oftentimes with our infrastructure customers, they want to see the hardware. So we have all of IBM's power systems, uh, x86 systems, we have storage systems like the V7000 available. And unique to many partners, uh, we have the IBM Pure Data for Analytics appliance deployed in both locations. So we actually have a full rack of this specialized data appliance, which we're going to talk a little bit more about in the Pronto section, uh, deployed in both locations and we can actually do replication between these two locations. Um, so if you're trying to understand, maybe you have a high availability problem and you want to test something like virtual machine failover in Microsoft System Center, we can do that. If you want to do data failover between two pure data for analytics appliances, we can do that. So our innovation centers are something we're very proud of uh, and we feel it's a great resource for both our existing customers as well as new customers. And we'll talk a little bit about that towards the end of the presentation. Because as we talk about a solution like Pronto, maybe you want to try it before uh, you buy it. And we can set up that proof of concept exercise within our lab environment quickly and efficiently. <clears throat> So the big data and business analytics practice, and I, I mentioned it briefly in the overview menu, um, but Michael Schuckman is the director of this practice. He's been running it for many years, and, and I'm proud to be a part of it. Uh, and we have a broad range of skills. And you can see on the left-hand side of this chart the circle of the different areas where we focus. But I think one of the unique things about this team, and there's about a dozen of us or so in different roles, um, is that we really are data plumbers, right? We like to get under the covers and understand how your data moves through your environment. For a lot of our customers, they're maybe just looking at building their first real data warehouse. You know, they have an older packaged application that has its silo of data. They maybe have a transactional system and its silo of data. And over the years, they've pulled things together with spreadsheets and, and other simple solutions, but they've never really taken a holistic approach uh, to how to truly leverage data. And now that we all have more and more data than we've ever had before, you know, it seems like every system that's deployed now generates some form of digital data that we can now start to leverage. And as managers become more and more sophisticated, you know, it used to be they looked at a report at the end of the week, now they want to know what's happening on an hourly basis. They want to know, is the sales trend going up or is it going down? Are we logging more miles this month versus last, last yesterday? You know, they want to look at these different trends and, and things that are changing in real time as it happens as part of the business. Uh, and so what we try to do is get in and understand what your data environment looks like, how you need to move data from one place to the, to the next, and fit that to what the technologies are that exist today. And there are many solutions that didn't exist five and ten years ago uh, that now we can bring to bear to solve problems for our customers. Uh, so 
on this chart you can see some of the different things we spend a lot of time with our customers on. Uh, and we've even built out some custom tools to help them better understand and manage these environments, like our Genio tool at the bottom that I'll talk a little bit more about later as well. Uh, but the one thing I will highlight is on the lower left-hand side, uh, you can see there are three user groups we run. The Tri-State Pure Data for Analytics user group, the Potomac Valley, and the Mid-Atlantic Pure Data for Analytics user groups. And we run it in three locations. The Tri-State actually operates around the New York metro area with the meetings hosted in New York City. Uh, the Potomac Valley happens in and around D.C. And then the Mid-Atlantic happens in Phil downtown Philly for our uh, Mid-Atlantic customers. And this is a great resource as well. And if you enjoyed today's webinar, I encourage you to sign up for one of these events when it comes to your area. Uh, because we've built up a nice community of individuals who are working with tools like Pure Data for Analytics, who are interested in the complementary technologies around those platforms, whether it be real-time data movement tools like Pronto, maybe they're looking at how to build out a highly available data, data solution across multiple data centers, uh, or maybe they're just struggling with a really thorny analytics problem and they want to look at what are the best possible tools they can bring to bear. Those are all things we talk about in these user groups. And the best part is we have lots of individuals from different companies who can relate to the different problems that each of them face on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's a great sense of community within those groups, and I encourage you to come out and join us. So with that introduction to MicroStrategies, uh, now we'll talk about a, a specific solution we've developed uh, called the Pronto Integration Appliance. And this has been a key part for many of our customers in the last several months. So I'd like to start the presentation with a description of some of the problems, right? The challenges that we've seen with customers and why we built the Pronto solution to solve that. Um, you know, for customers that are larger, you're probably operating with an overnight batch process. You've got lots of data sources spread out through the business. You've created a, a nice automatic process, runs every night brings that data together into a data mart or a data warehouse or other repositories so that now you can generate reports and have those all on everybody's desk at 6 a.m. in the morning so that each person can now understand better what's happening in the business, right? <clears throat> but as more and more systems are generating more and more data, and as I mentioned earlier, the senior managers are asking more and more questions. It's no longer a monthly business or a weekly business. It's a daily, hourly business. That batch window starts to get bigger and bigger because you're moving more data, you're integrating more data every night. <clears throat> and for our smaller customers that maybe haven't even created a batch process yet, uh, by talking about solutions like Pronto and real-time data, we're actually enabling them to completely skip the idea of an overnight batch and go straight to working with data in real time. Because that can be a tremendously simplifying way to eliminate that overnight batch process. Right? <clears throat> in addition, we're seeing more and more auditing demands on some of our customers. If you operate in a highly regulated industry, uh, the government, as data has become more and more important, has crafted more and more rules to ensure that data is protected uh, and that you can show within your environment exactly what happened to data. So how has it changed as it moved throughout your company? Can you audit back to the original source of every piece of data that you have? So we knew in building out a solution like Pronto, we'd have to address that challenge. And then another thing we see with many customers is legacy systems. You have that older, maybe it's a manufacturing management system, maybe it's a transactional system. Uh, it was deployed years ago, maybe even decades ago, and it works great. There's nothing wrong with it. It's back there. It runs away. It's, it's, no one ever has to worry about it. It's a good, reliable system. But now, as the market has changed, you've built out a website, and you're servicing customers online. You've got folks in the field using mobile devices and doing transactions on the spot. And they need to know what's the state of inventory, right? All of a sudden, everybody needs to know the answer now. So we needed to build a solution that provided something for our customers to integrate those legacy systems in with the rest of their environment. And lastly, that final bullet you see at the bottom, right? Everybody wants it cheaper, easier to manage, less complex, and they need it now. Uh, and that's one of the great things about Pronto is it deploys incredibly quickly. So I've said quite a bit about all the wonderful things Pronto can do. Let's look at what it actually is. So on this chart, you see a nice clear diagram, hopefully, uh, kind of laying out what we do with the Pronto integration appliance. And the heart of it is there in the blue box. But I'm going to start on the left-hand side, and that's with the data sources. Uh, these are the pieces that we see in many of our customers' environments. Maybe you have an application built on a deployed. Maybe you've been running Microsoft SQL Server. 
You know, you started with some simple Excel spreadsheets and that grew into a database somewhere. Uh, maybe you're running a legacy system like an IBM AS400 system I, right? You had a nice packaged application that, that ran quietly in the corner. Uh, or maybe you use Sybase databases or Informix as well, and of course IBM's DB2 platform. Any of those different data sources can be integrated using the Pronto integration appliance. Now it does it in a unique way. And you can see in that sort of diamond-shaped box towards the middle, the source agent. So it has a piece of agent software that runs on each of these data sources to capture the changes in real time. So versus a batch process where you're going to have a fixed process that runs at a set time and determines all changes that have happened over a span of time at once and deliver that batch of data over to the data source, we're going to actually track the changes in real time. And a lot of companies haven't tried this in the past because they think it's too expensive to track those real-time changes. My database is over there processing transactions. I can't slow it down to track those changes and move data elsewhere. I've just got to keep up with the transaction flow. And that's what's great about how we built the Pronto Integration Appliance, is we use this source agent technology that looks at the journals and the logs built into these data sources natively so it provides a very low impact <clears throat> compared to some other data replication solutions. I mean, we see solutions in, in use of customers on, say, Oracle that are using 20 to 40 percent CPU utilization just to replicate data out of Oracle. And compared to our change data capture-based solution with Pronto, the impact is single digits, typically 2 to 3 percent impact to that database source system. And that's critical because if you have an old legacy system that's happily been motoring away in a corner at, you know, 70, 80 percent utilization, you don't want to suddenly deploy a new process on there that's going to demand 40 percent more CPU. Now you're faced with having to possibly upgrade that old system that was running just fine. So what's great about the Pronto data capture technology uh, is that it's built to have minimal impact on your source database system. And this is key to building out a real-time data architecture. Now we look at the blue box in the middle, the Pronto integration appliance. This is where all the key pieces of Pronto management software get installed. So this is the IBM change data capture technology pieces run here. Uh, we also have the ability to run data stage and Cognos tooling as well. Uh, if you have other data integration needs, this is where the graphical user interface is installed, which we'll look at later. Uh, so this is how you manage, right? This is how you configure the connections to the different sources. You set up which tables you want to go into your data warehouse or into your pure data for analytics environment. Uh, this is where you set up any mappings you may need or filter out data you don't want, right? And all this is done from a simple, unified user interface uh, so that you can see things clearly uh, and know what's happening with the data movement. And we'll look at that in, in detail later. And then last is the pure data for analytics system. And this is also a key part of the solution uh, because this is a great platform for reporting data and visualizing data and processing it with extreme speed. I mean, data warehousing technology has come a long way in the last 20 years. And what we love about the Pure Data for Analytics platform is that it's simple to deploy, simple to manage, and the performance is incredible. Uh, and the complete Pronto solution really is a, is a great way to get continuous real-time data into that platform, and now all your reporting tools can happen in near real-time coming out the other end. So let's look quickly at the hardware that's involved. So we have the Pronto integration server, and this is a simple rack-mountable server where we're going to set up that change data capture software. Uh, it is a virtualized environment, so we can manage a, a couple different partitions there. And if you have an existing VM environment, we can also work with that. Uh, and then we have the pure data for analytics. And you can see it comes in a small rack-mountable form factor. Or if you have a larger, bigger data environment, we can build out a full rack solution as well, a highly scalable uh, set of systems. And there's a lot of critical software included in here. So we have the IBM change data capture software. Uh, we have the options with data stage and Cognos that can be deployed. Or you can use other tools you may prefer, things like Tableau or, or ClickView or whatever you may use in your environment. Uh, and then, of course, we have our management tool set, Genio, that we provide you as well. It gives you a nice unified view of what's happening across the pure data for analytics system. <clears throat> so here's some of the key points about Pronto, right? It's a simple turnkey solution, right? We built this and designed it so that we could implement it quickly. Um, so we have the unified data warehouse appliance piece and we have the unified Pronto appliance piece, and those both go in extremely fast. 
and our technicians on our side can handle the configuration of your data sources, get you up and running quickly. Reliable data delivery, we're only capturing data changes. So you don't have that 12 hour overnight batch process running that every now and again creeps out to 13, 14, even 15 hours and suddenly the reports are late. That doesn't happen anymore in a real time delivery environment. We get the data continuously. We minimize the impact on those production systems with that log based uh, agent that captures on those source systems that I described. And the best part is you don't have to make changes to the source database. You know, a lot of data replication solutions require you to go in and turn on triggers or turn on higher levels of logging and that just drives up the impact to the CPU utilization on the sources and also means you've got to go in and touch systems that are already working well. Um, and finally, I'll, I'll highlight the fact that that pure data for analytics system really is an incredible system. Right? It requires almost no tuning, uh, it doesn't use indexes, and it, it is 10 to 100 times faster. And this is something that blows away many of the customers we work with this solution on is, is they'll say, look, I've got a job, it, it takes hours, some days eight or 10 hours. If you guys can just make that thing go fast, that would be amazing. And they'll hand us you know, a backup of a database, we'll load it up in our uh, business partner innovation center lab, right? those labs I described earlier. We'll go ahead and set up a report or maybe they have a set of difficult queries that they'd like us to run and we'll, we'll run those. Uh, and we've even done side-by-side side side comparisons. We've loaded data in SQL Server and loaded data in the Pure Data for Analytics appliance and done those side-by-side. Side. And we see those hours long queries drop to minutes, sometimes even seconds. It's really amazing and we encourage you to try. And that's why we have the Pronto Challenge. Uh, and we've done this with a couple of customers now as we've started to understand their problem what they're trying to do in their environment and we felt real-time replication was the solution, we said, look, let us prove it to you. Give us the data, give us a, a difficult set of queries or reports or in one case we had a customer give us their complete Cognos framework configuration and, and we deployed that in our lab and they were able to start seeing their real reports generated out of our environment. Uh, in this example, we did a DB2 uh, on System I, so the I Series AS400 DB2. We configured it through real time data delivery into our pure data for analytics systems. And then we started generating real results. And you can read the quote there at the top. Uh, they were really blown away by the results. They saw you know, reports that were taking you know, 20, 30 minutes are now seconds, and reports that are taking hours are now minutes. It was just amazing. So I encourage you, if you like what you hear in today's uh, presentation, I encourage you to follow up with us uh, and we'll take that Pronto Challenge with you. So quickly I'd like to show you what this looks like because um, I said it's easy to use, so I want to show that to you. Um, so this is the user interface for configuration of change data capture. Uh, this is the configuration view so you can see some of the uh, subscriptions I have set up on the left. And in the middle there's a box for a new subscription and it's as simple as selecting my source and selecting my target. And then on the next chart here you can see I have the option to pick which tables from the source I want. So I can go in and filter out ones I don't want, you know, just look at the ones that, that I think are most useful. And I'm doing all of this from the Pronto environment, from the InfoSphere Change Data Capture Management Console. I don't have to go log on to the old, you know, legacy system source that this is coming from and go in and edit a config file or do something strange or, you know, tweak a little batch script. This all happens in a nice, pretty graphical user interface. And after that, once I've set up my source and target, what tables I want, the system takes over from there. It completes the configuration, sets up the tables necessary uh, to run the job. And so what does that look like on the other side? So now here I am in the InfoSphere Change Data Capture Management Console, and I'm looking at the monitoring view. So in here you can see down the left, I have monitoring for the replication process and the latencies that are happening across the system. If I highlight any individual subscription, I can see great detail below the latency, the activity on that. Uh, if there are any problems, those are all highlighted immediately for me from a simple user interface. No, you know, odd log messages or weird things I have to worry about. I can just look at it and see what's happening. Uh, now we're back into that configuration view and you can see I have my source tables, I have my target tables, I have what type of uh, mapping we're doing between them and, and that the data is being replicated so I can see it in an easy to glance view everything that's happening. And down in the lower left you can see the different data stores I have configured. So I can have lots of different sources all configured. And with the Pronto appliance and the way that it is sold you can have as many data sources as you like delivering to this environment and it's very affordable. 
And then finally, we have a tool called the Agility Workbench uh, that a lot of our Pure Data for Analytics customers use. So now I've logged into my data warehouse to see what's there, and I can see there's all my tables. They've all been delivered for me. I have the admin prefix on them there, and you can see all the ones that I had configured from the beginning uh, delivered into my warehouse environment. So uh, if you enjoyed today's presentation and you want a little bit more detail on the Pronto solution, uh, we do have a white paper available. So if you go to microstrat.com, that's M-I-C-R-O-S-T-R-A-T.com slash pure dash data, uh, you'll come to the page shown on the screen here. And you can see in the lower right-hand corner, we have links to all the PDFs that we offer, and that includes the Pronto white paper, uh, information about what we also do for Cognos environments, pure data environments, uh, and the IBM pure data system by itself. Uh, so I encourage you to go to that website, download the white paper. You can also see on the lower left, we have links to each of the user groups, and there is a website for the user group. Uh, it's puredatausergroup.com. I encourage you to go there, join us face-to-face -face in one of those user groups. You know, we usually have uh, a couple of snacks, a couple of drinks, and, and great discussion. You know, we'll have a, a primary presentation, a complimentary presentation, and then a great discussion amongst the many different companies and members who come out to that meeting. It uh, really is a great way to, to both meet people as well as uh, find other folks who are facing some of the challenges you may have in your environment. And with that, I think we're ready for any questions uh, that folks may have asked. Uh, I did see one that I think I actually may have a chart to address. Um, and so the question was, you know, what kind of performance results? And the quote talked a little bit about it, um, but I will jump to that chart here because we do have a performance chart. Um, so here we go, and this is taken from a, a customer's uh, experience recently. So they provided us almost four terabytes of data. We, we gave them a four terabyte hard drive. They loaded it up with about 3.6 to 3.7 terabytes of data. Uh, so you can see 3.572. So there it is on the left-hand side. Um, and once we loaded that into Natiza, so the pure data for analytics, which was formerly known as Natiza, um, appliances actually have native compression built in. So by default, all data is compressed and the system works with it compressed. It's really incredible. It's part of why it gets such great performance. But you can see in that pie chart on the left that that 3.5, 3.6 terabytes of data was compressed down to just 414 gigabytes. Um, so just tremendous savings in compression alone right there. Then on the right-hand side, you see the performance measures. And this chart may be a little hard to read, but the blue bars are how long it took to process these different queries in SQL Server. And you can see some of them are quite large. Um, in number of seconds, and we got a we got a 4,000 second query there. If you look closely at the top of each of those bars, the little tiny orange part, and that's actually how long it took in Pure Data for Analytics, just barely single seconds, right? I mean, you can see it even on the largest one. And that's where you can see the orange part the best. It's just a tiny, tiny bit, right? So really, just a tremendous performance improvement on average, 30x in performance uh, improvement. So this is a solution that not only provides uh, great real-time delivery of the data, but incredible performance once it gets there. And for customers who maybe you know didn't operate with a significant data warehouse before, this is a an eye opener, right? Now they they don't have to worry about it. They've got a great platform to build on through the future. Are there other questions? All right, I see um, another question here for hardware. Um, so we talked a little bit about the hardware, the Pronto solution, um, and all of those parts are included. Uh, and then I'll also show, so this was the hardware. So you do get the Pronto integration server, and you also get the pure data system for analytics, and we'll do the sizing for all of these different pieces for you. Uh, and of course, once it's deployed, we'll do the deployment as well. So we'll configure all the software, get you up and running. Um, for the pure data for analytics appliance, uh, it is an integrated appliance solution. Um, so a little bit more detail on all the things that are built into that. Uh, it is a highly scalable solution. So this is a full rack configuration. Uh, obviously, there are high-performance disk arrays in here, and all of those are redundant. Uh, it has redundant hosts. So this is how we actually connect to it. So you can see the, the hardware configurations of the hosts there, and they are fully redundant. And then it has the very unique core technology that is unique in the industry of the Pure Data System for Analytics, and that is the analytic S-Blades in the green box there. So it's not only high-performance Intel CPUs, but also these custom Xilinx uh, field-programmable gate arrays, FPGAs, custom-built for analytics. It's, it's 
it's really an unbelievable platform. You can see some of the great uh, performance specs there at the bottom in terms of how, how much performance you can get out of a great system like this. Uh, we've, we've been working with this platform for many years now. Uh, we, we are one of the primary subcontractors actually for implementing all of the, uh, the TISA replication software solutions for high availability. And, and it's just a system that continues to impress us year after year, both in terms of performance but also value, right? It's a highly affordable system uh, offered at many different sizes and price points and, and our customers are very, very pleased. So I don't see any other questions, Tahani, unless I'm missing something. And so with that, I think we're, we're done. Um, but I would encourage you all to visit microstrat.com slash pure-data uh, and download the white paper uh, or join us at one of our upcoming user groups. Uh, I hope everybody found today's uh, session productive and useful and hopefully you learned something new. Uh, and hopefully you'll reach out to us and we can talk about real-time data delivery uh, in the near future. <clears throat> with that, I think we're done, Tahani.